Hey there, chip fans! Welcome back to another electrifying episode where we dive deep into the heart of technology. Tonight, we're diving into the wild world of semiconductors, those tiny yet mighty components that power everything from your smartphones to your toaster ovens. They are the unsung heroes of our modern world, making our lives more convenient and connected. And trust me, this is way more exciting than it sounds. Imagine a world without these little wonders. No smartphones, no smart homes, no advanced medical equipment. It's a world we wouldn't want to live in. We're talking about international rivalries, cutting edge technology, and enough twists and turns to make your head spin. The semiconductor industry is a battlefield where nations compete for dominance, innovation, and economic power. So buckle up as we explore Japan's quest to reclaim its former glory in the semiconductor arena. Once a leader in this field, Japan is now on a mission to rise again and challenge the current giants. Remember those clunky Walkmans and indestructible Nokias? Those were the days when Japan was at the forefront of tech innovation, creating products that defined a generation. Yeah, Japan was the brains behind those bad boys. Their engineers and designers were the pioneers, pushing the boundaries of what technology could do. But somewhere along the way, they lost their mojo. The rise of other tech powerhouses and shifting market dynamics saw Japan's dominance wane. Now they're back with a vengeance, ready to take on the current chip champion Taiwan. With renewed vigor and cutting-edge research, Japan is poised to make a significant impact once again. This ain't your grandma's knitting circle, folks. This is a strategic game of chess where every move counts, and the stakes couldn't be higher. This is a high-stakes battle for technological supremacy and we're here for all the drama. From boardroom decisions to lab breakthroughs, every moment is crucial in this race. Get ready for Japan's big comeback in the semiconductor game. Stay tuned as we unravel this thrilling journey of innovation, competition, and resurgence. Back in the 80s, Japan was the undisputed king of the semiconductor world. Their factories were buzzing with activity, producing cutting-edge technology that powered everything from home computers to industrial machinery. They were cranking out chips faster than a vending machine dispenses Pocky. The efficiency and precision of their manufacturing processes were unmatched, setting new standards in the industry. Japanese companies like NEC, Toshiba, and Hitachi were household names, supplying the world with everything from memory chips to processors. These giants were at the forefront of innovation, constantly pushing the boundaries of what was possible with semiconductor technology. Those were the glory days, my friends. The Japanese tech industry was a source of national pride, and their achievements were celebrated both at home and abroad. Japan's tech dominance seemed untouchable. Their cities were bustling hubs of innovation, attracting talent and investment from around the globe. They were the cool kids at the global electronics party, and everyone wanted an invite. International tech conferences were dominated by Japanese companies, showcasing their latest breakthroughs and setting trends for the future. But as with all good things, Japan's reign eventually came to an end. The once thriving factories began to slow down, and the industry faced challenges that were difficult to overcome. New players emerged, the tech landscape shifted, and Japan's semiconductor industry took a hit. Companies from other countries began to catch up, bringing new competition and innovation to the market. But don't count them out just yet. The spirit of innovation and resilience is still very much alive in Japan. Engineers and scientists are hard at work, developing new technologies and strategies to regain their former glory, like a phoenix rising from the ashes, or a robot emerging from a giant peach because, you know, Japan, they're back and ready to reclaim their throne. With a renewed focus on cutting-edge research and development, Japan is poised to make a significant impact on the semiconductor industry once again. While Japan was busy perfecting the art of origami, Taiwan was quietly building a semiconductor empire. And let me tell you, they've been busy bees. Taiwan, led by the semiconductor behemoth TSMC, now controls a whopping 60% of the global contract chip manufacturing market. That's right, folks. If you're using a gadget with a chip in it, chances are it was made in Taiwan. Taiwan's success is no accident. They've invested heavily in research and development, fostered a skilled workforce, and created a business-friendly environment that attracts foreign investment. Basically, they've become the go-to destination for all your chip-making needs. So, Japan has its work cut out for it. Taking on Taiwan in the semiconductor arena is like challenging a sumo wrestler to a pie-eating contest. It's not gonna be easy. Japan may have been down for the count, but they're not out. 
They've been quietly plotting their comeback, investing in new technologies and forging strategic alliances. One of Japan's key strengths is its expertise in materials science. They're like the Willy Wonka of the semiconductor world, constantly experimenting with new and exotic materials to create faster, more efficient chips. They're also focusing on specialized chips for niche markets like automotive and industrial automation. Think self-driving cars, robots that can make you sushi, and other futuristic gadgets that'll make your head explode. Japan knows they can't beat Taiwan at their own game, so they're changing the rules. It's like showing up to a rap battle with a Shamisen and blowing everyone away. Section 5 Taiwan vs Japan The Chip Battle Royale In this high-stakes arena, two titans of the semiconductor world face off, each bringing their unique strengths and strategies to the table. So, how do Japan and Taiwan stack up in the semiconductor slugfest? Let's dive deeper into the intricate dynamics of this competition. It's a classic David vs Goliath story with a side of wasabi and bubble tea. Taiwan with its massive production capabilities represents Goliath while Japan with its focus on precision and quality plays the role of David. Taiwan has the size and scale advantage. Their semiconductor industry is a behemoth, capable of producing chips in vast quantities meeting the global demand with ease. They're like the Walmart of chip manufacturing, churning out massive quantities at rock bottom prices. This allows them to dominate the market with their sheer volume and cost effectiveness. Japan, on the other hand, is more like a boutique artisan bakery, focusing on quality and specialization. Their approach is meticulous, ensuring that each chip is crafted to perfection. Taiwan excels in logic chips, the brains of your devices. These chips are crucial for processing information and running applications smoothly. Japan is a master of memory chips, the ones that help you remember what you had for breakfast. Assuming you don't have a logic chip malfunction, these chips are essential for storing data and ensuring your devices retain information. Both countries are investing heavily in research and development, constantly pushing the boundaries of what's possible in the world of semiconductors. Their R&D efforts are paving the way for the next generation of technological advancements. It's a technological arms race, but instead of nukes, they're fighting with transistors. Each breakthrough in semiconductor technology brings us closer to more powerful, efficient, and innovative devices shaping the future of our digital world. Section 6. Japan's Secret Weapon Innovation and Teamwork Japan knows it needs more than just silicon and sweat to win this chip war. They need innovation, collaboration, and maybe a little bit of that good old-fashioned Japanese work ethic. They're pouring billions into research and development, partnering with universities and industry leaders to develop cutting-edge chip technologies. It's like a techie version of the Avengers, but instead of saving the world from Thanos, they're saving us from chip shortages. Japan is also fostering collaboration between companies, something that's not always common in their traditionally competitive business culture. They're realizing that by working together, they can achieve more than they ever could alone. It's like a corporate version of Voltron, but instead of forming a giant robot, they're forming a giant semiconductor powerhouse. Section 7. Why should we care about this chip drama? Okay, so maybe you're not losing sleep over the intricacies of semiconductor manufacturing, but here's the thing, this chip battle has huge implications for all of us. Semiconductors are the lifeblood of the global economy. They power everything from our smartphones and laptops to our cars and airplanes. A shortage of chips can bring entire industries to a standstill as we saw during the recent chip crisis. Japan's resurgence in the semiconductor market could help stabilize the global supply chain, making those pesky chip shortages a thing of the past. It could also lead to lower prices and faster innovation, which is always a good thing. Plus, it's always more fun when there's a little competition, right? Section 8. Can Japan really pull this off? So, the question remains, can Japan really reclaim its semiconductor crown? It's a long shot, but hey, stranger things have happened. They've got the brains, the work ethic, and the determination. But they're also facing some serious challenges. For one, they're playing catch-up in a rapidly evolving industry. It's like trying to learn TikTok dances from your grandma. You can try, but you're probably going to look a little silly. They also need to attract more investment and talent to the industry, which can be tough in a country with an aging population and a strong aversion to risk-taking. It's a gamble, but if anyone can pull it off, it's Japan. They've done it before, and they're not afraid of a challenge. Section 9. 
What happens next in the wild world of chips? The semiconductor industry is constantly evolving, with new players and technologies emerging all the time. It's like a game of high-stakes poker, and no one knows what the next hand will bring. Japan's comeback attempt adds another layer of intrigue to this already fascinating industry. Will they succeed in their quest to reclaim their former glory? Only time will tell. But one thing's for sure. The future of technology depends on these tiny chips, and the battle for semiconductor supremacy is only going to get more intense. So stay tuned, folks. The next chapter in the semiconductor saga is about to begin, and you won't want to miss it.